Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So you can now create tailored versions of ChatGPT for a specific purpose. OpenAI Dev Day was a huge success. The internet is still buzzing with excitement after the event and for good reason. OpenAI introduced a ton of new stuff, including a new GPT-4 Turbo model, GPT Builder and GPT Store, a bunch of huge updates for developers using the API. And even though the event was dedicated to developers, ChatGPT has also received some great updates. Its knowledge now extended to April 2023. It uses a more powerful GPT-4 Turbo model. There is an update of speech recognition, and now there is no need to select a model within ChatGPT. It will automatically use web browsing, image recognition, or DALI 3. And I have a separate video covering this update with examples, so make sure to check it out. And while all these updates are incredible, perhaps Creating GPTs and selling them on GPT store is the most exciting one. So in this video, I'll break down how it works and show you some examples to demonstrate what's really possible with this update. We're thrilled to introduce GPTs. GPTs are tailored versions of ChatGPT for a specific purpose. When you go to create one of these GPTs, you create it with custom instructions to tailor how it's going to react when somebody prompts it. You can provide it with the expanded knowledge. This can be any sort of additional data you want works into this GPT. You can add files, descriptions, the list three profiles, and many more. And then actions, the things it can actually perform once prompted. The great thing about creating these GPTs is that you don't need any development skills. You can create a GPT with natural language just by talking to ChatGPT. Tell it what you want to create and it guides you. It helps you through the whole process of building a custom GPT. And then you can publish it for others to use. The concept is very similar to what we know as ChatGPT plugins plus custom instructions, but here you don't need any coding skills to create it and you can do it in less than four minutes. In fact, let's see how Sam Altman built one right on stage during the event. So I want to create a GPT uh, that helps give founders and developers advice when starting new projects. I'm going to go to create a GPT here, and this drops me into the GPT Builder. To start, GPT Builder asks me what I want to make. And I'm going to say, I want to help startup founders think through their business ideas and get advice after the founder has gotten some advice. Uh, grill them <laughs> on why they are not growing faster. <laughs> All right. So to start off, I just tell the GPT a little bit about, about what I want here. And it's going to go off and start thinking about that and it's going to write some detailed instructions for the GPT. Um, it's also going to, let's see, ask me about a name. How do I feel about Startup Mentor? That's fine. Uh, that's good. So if I didn't like the name, of course, I could call it something else. But it's you know, going to try to have this conversation with me and, and start there. And you can see here on, uh, on, on the right, in the preview mode, that it's already starting to fill out the GPT, um, where it says what it does. It has some, like, ideas of additional questions that I could ask. Um, and <laughs> you know what? I actually, so it just generated a candidate. Of course, I could regenerate that or change it, but I sort of like that. So I will say, that's great. And you see now that the GPT is being built out a little bit more as we go. Now, what I want this to do, um, how it can interact with users, I could talk about style here. But what I'm going to say uh, is, I am going to upload transcripts of some lectures about startups I have given. Please give advice based off of those. All right. So now uh, it's going to go figure out how to do that. And I would like to show you the Configure tab. So you can see some of the things that were built out here as we were going um, by, by the builder itself. And you can see that there's capabilities here that I can enable. Um, I could add custom actions. These are all fine to leave. Um, I'm going to upload a file. Uh, so here is a lecture that I picked, that I used to, that I gave with some startup advice. Um, and I'm going to add that here. In terms of these questions, uh, this is a dumb one. The rest of those are reasonable uh, and like very much things founders often ask. Um, I'm going to add one more thing to the instructions here, which is be concise and constructive with feedback. And now uh, 
we can try it out over on this preview tab. So I will say, um, what's a common question? What are three things to look, f oops. What are three things to look for when hiring employees at an early stage startup? Now it's gonna look at that document I uploaded. Um, it'll also have, of course, all of the background knowledge of GPT-4. That's pretty good. Those are three things that I definitely have said many times. Yes, it is that simple. And now that we have this GPT store, which is like an app store, but for GPTs, anyone can build AI agents without any coding, list them on the store, and make money from revenue sharing. Revenue sharing is important to us. We're gonna pay people who build the most useful and the most used GPTs a portion of our revenue. This looks like a massive opportunity. It is comparable to Shopify or Apple App Store, but to create an app in Shopify, you need it up to four months. For an App Store app, you need it up to six months. And for GPT Store Agent or GPT, you need only up to 16 minutes. We have opportunities like this once in 15 years, and that's why it is such a big deal. The reason why this video is titled OpenAI is Apple in 2009 is because that's when Apple launched the App Store. And so many people regret they hadn't created an app for the App Store in 2009. So let's take advantage of this opportunity now and not miss out. Now I'm going to show you one more demo of a GPT from OpenAI Dev Day, and then we'll check out some amazing examples from the community. So to start, where your GPT will live is on this upper left corner. I'm gonna start with clicking on the Zapier AI Actions. And on the right-hand side, you can see that's my calendar for today. So it's quite a day. I've already used this before, so it's actually already connected to my calendar. To start, I can ask, what's on my schedule for today? We build GPTs with security in mind. So before it performs any action or share data, it will ask for your permission. So right here, I'm gonna say allowed. So GPT is designed to take in your instructions make the decision on which capability to call to perform that action, and then execute that for you. So you can see right here, it's already connected to my calendar. It pulls into my, my information, and then I've also prompted it to identify conflicts on my calendar. So you can see right here, it actually was able to identify that. So it looks like I have something coming up. So what if I wanna let Sam know that I have to leave early? So right here I say, let Sam no, I gotta go, um, chasing GPUs. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna swap to my conversation with Sam, and then I'm gonna say, yes, please run that. Sam, did you get that? I did. GPT Builder is rolling out this week to ChatGPT Plus and enterprise users. I don't have it yet, but there are some ex-users who have already tried it out. So let me show you some of their use cases. This guy created his own GPT. He named it X Optimizer GPT, which fine tunes his posts and pinpoints peak posting times for maximum engagement on X. He explains three simple steps to do this. Download Twitter post data, configure custom instructions, and then he pasted the draft of the post and had that X optimizer GPT write the tweet according to the instructions. This is how the configuration page looks like, the description, the custom instructions, and the uploaded files to support its knowledge. Obviously, these GPTs are capable of browsing the web, generating images, and interpreting code. He prompted it with optimize this post and tell me when to post it. He provided a draft of a post and then his X optimizer GPT gave him the optimal time to post the tweet. Uh, it rated the post and suggested the optimized version. This X user built a custom GPT to create music playlists from your favorite concert lineups. So he combined web browsing with GPTs. Here, he prompted it to browse the web to find this year's Coachella lineup and make a playlist of the highlights. As an outcome, that GPT provides him with a link to Spotify playlist that includes a selection of songs from that festival. Pretty cool. Here's another idea. You can create GPTs to consult any YouTuber or basically any person you'd like to get an advice from. For example, I love learning from Naval Ravikant. He is a very smart guy when it comes to technology, investing, and wealth creation. So what you could do is 
take his book, a transcript of his 3.5 hour mega podcast on how to get rich, then upload all of that to a GPT, provide custom instructions for it to act as Naval and give advice and maybe something else. And you'll be able to almost consult Naval himself with your particular case and questions. Of course, you can do the same with other influencers, regardless of the type of content they produce. Podcasts, videos, books, Twitter posts, everything can be transcribed, put in a PDF file, uploaded to a GPT, allowing you to almost have a conversation, a real conversation with all those people. I don't want to make it sound like earning money with GPTs and the GPT store is going to be easy. It is not. Since anyone can create a GPT without any development skills, the competition is going to be extremely high. To make money, you need to be very creative with custom instructions and also offer people some kind of proprietary data access through these GPTs. It all boils down to the basic principle of wealth creation, which is obtain a specific knowledge and then find the leverage to share that knowledge with as many people as possible and GPTs are just a new form of that leverage. And to give you more use cases and more GPT ideas, if you have a specific knowledge, such as being a psychologist or a startup advisor or a financial advisor, you can upload all of your notes, papers, lectures, some kind of proprietary files into a GPT and add some custom instructions on top of that. This way, your GPT would have true value that people are willing to pay for and you can leverage it to distribute that value to a large audience. Remember, currently, ChatGPT has 100 million weekly users and that is a lot of people to sell to. Okay, this is just the start of many mind-blowing use cases we are about to see in the following months. In the next video, I'll provide you with a comprehensive tutorial on how to create GPTs. It is quite straightforward, but still there are some pitfalls and non-obvious tricks worth knowing about. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe. There is absolutely no doubt that children will be creating GPTs in 2024. It is that easy. So let's stay on top of that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.